Doctor, you see where page 134, line 19? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, how did the swastika come up? So I asked him last time that he cut himself, and he says day of the incident. So I didn't know if that was after, you know, he was in jail or detained, or if that was uh, so he said before. Uh, I asked him where. Uh, he said at the house. I asked how many. He said probably five or six times. Then he said it didn't. I asked if he felt better, and he said it didn't work. I asked him if he had been hearing voices on the day of the homicide, and he said the same man. I said, when was the last time? And so this is May of 2019, May 8th, 2019. And he said Sunday. So that would have been in 2019. He pretends my radio is a gun and tells me to pretend it is a gun and to shoot the guard. I said, well, who is this? And he said, swastika. He calls himself Swaz. I said, how did? OK, so? I don't, I don't want to hear him. It's not comfortable. So you didn't bring up swastika? He did? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't. It's the first time I ever heard of that. OK, do you know about the swastika now? I do know that he is drawn and that he has related to others about, you know, what he considers another personality named Swaz or a voice named Swaz. So are you saying that Swaz is short for swastika? That's what he was saying, yes. OK, and the voice's name was Swaz. OK, did he ever say anything about demons? I'm sorry, say again? Did he ever say anything about demons? Yes, he has. What did he tell you about demons? I have to go back and look. Uh, it's later on. I, I don't know if it was in the interview. I think it was later on. He he's on and off. He mentioned Swaz or he mentions, you know, a demon or I think on the last time I saw him, which was, again, my error. You didn't receive that until yesterday. But there was something in there. Um, now I worship the devil. I hate God and Jesus and Christianity. Uh, the Antichrist told me. So there's a lot of discussion that he drops, particularly when he's angry about demons or Antichrist or the devil. So, yeah, I mean, I've heard it before. Okay, other than what you just told me, did you mention demons any other time? He has, and I'd have to look for it. Uh, but again, so that we're clear, I don't see him as psychotic. No, I understand. Okay. I understand. He mentioned it, but I think it's like a, I mean, I hesitate to say this, but it's like a little kid way of explaining negative affect. I'm trying to make sense of something and doing a bad job of it. Um, let me see. Um, I, I have to dig through it, and there's, like you said, uh, 40 pages, but I know it's in here. Um, so if, if you want to take the time to highlight it, I can. No, since we're going to meet again, if you can find it, that's okay. I don't want to. Let me make a note of it. Go ahead, make a note. I'm sorry, go ahead. So he tells you the voice. It's one voice. It's a man, and his name is Swaz, short for swastika. Correct. Okay, in your notes, he says, he pretends my radio is a gun, and he tells me to pretend it's a gun and shoot the guards. Correct. And how would you, that's his thought, to pretend his radio or he's, what was your impression of him telling you that Swaz pretends his radio is a gun and to kill the guards? I mean, it's, this is, what I took from this, honestly, Yes. is this is a fantasy. Um, he's uncomfortable with where he's at. He's uncomfortable with being locked down, being in jail. This is somebody who absolutely, 110 percent, has no capacity or understanding for how to deal with any negative affect, particularly anger. So he's fantasizing about shooting the guard with a radio. Honestly, he wasn't psychotic, and I took it as kind of nonsense, just like this wish fulfillment or frustration. Okay, this concludes, that concludes uh, this exhibit. Showing you now State's Exhibit E for Identification, an excerpt from Heather, Dr. Heather.